Welcome to the video guys. So today I decided to do a little different style of a video uh, where I'm just sort of voicing over some clips I recorded. So here we have the front fender for the motorcycle. We're going to be painting this today. So this is what it looks like before. It's pretty beat up. It has some sort of wrap on it. This fender looked terrible starting off, but just watch till the end and see how we turned it from this into a piece that looks almost brand new. And here it is uh, sanded and I peeled off the wrap and it looks like it was red at some point which is interesting. Uh, it looks like it was red and then gray so only a few layers we got most of it off and there was also a good crack right there where it's like yellow I sanded off all of the old glue residue that was on there and I used a new glue that has some sort of uh, chemical bond that's supposed to be really strong and it's meant for this type of plastic so I'm not worried about it cracking on top of it we put some body filler sanded it to smooth and put a light layer of primer on it before priming over the whole fender Here's how it looks in its final layer of primer. It's smooth and it's ready for our first layer of base coat. We are again uh, painting this with the same black paint that we used on the gas tank. And we're gonna be using this on the whole bike. The whole bike's gonna be black again. So here's the first layer going on. So after this point, uh, I was kind of running out of daylight and I didn't want it to get dark before I finished painting so I kind of forgot to record a lot of the painting that happened after this. So to sum up, I did uh, three layers of black base coat and then three layers of clear on top. And here's how it turned out. Alright, so today we're putting on the front fender and you see I polished it really nicely so it's super reflective now. Uh, soon we'll do that to the tank as well. So so <laughs> right now it's uh, very jankily up on two scissor jacks and they are on the structural part like the frame. You can see it on each side. Uh, you don't want to put that on the oil pan or exhaust. And I wasn't sure how else to raise it, so this seemed to work. And so before it's totally off the ground, to take off the wheel, because we have to take the wheel off to put this uh, fender on, there's a bolt here we need to loosen. There's a bolt over there. And then we loosen this nut on the left side of the bike. But there's also this, this thing. I think it's like a speed sensor or something. So 
this this nut. It's these like Allen key bits. This one's a six mil. Alright, so this larger bolt is a uh, is a 12 mil. 12 mil ax. Uh, what do you call these? Um, you know what these are. Hexagon thing, hexagon bits. I'm not sure of the right name, but it's a 12 mil. And having a breaker bar is really helpful for this. Got the wrong adapter on there. Oh, oh god! Everything shifted. I'm also removing these two bolts that are holding in the calipers because I, uh, I want to roll the tire forward out of this position. Uh, this was a a 1532. I got a mix of metric and the other one. What I can't remember. So these two out. And this should come off. Needs a little bit of shaking.